Hello guys, this is Mr. Legendary Vendetta. I don't know why I keep on pronouncing myself as Mr, but hey, we'll roll with it. So it's been far too long since we have seen a ninja battle, and I'm extremely fond of ninjas. Um, to any Shogun 2 player who can use ninjas effectively, I love you. I absolutely love you. Because ninjas are one of those units which are very hard to use. Um, they're... Yeah, it's just, it's mainly the positioning. The positioning is really hard. There is one match I think I will have to show you. Um, I'm not sure if I've saved it though, but I definitely need to show it at some point. Um, and it is pretty much how I got ninja raped. So for once, I was definitely, uh, I was slaughtered straight from the outright, just from a ninja. Um, that has never happened to me before. But anyway, we shall be watching this game. And this is between me and Tom1604. Now, Tom1604 is already one of my friends. Um, he was my friend prior to this match, but um, we met each other in uh, Match Made again, which is always nice when you see... It's, it's nice when you meet your friends, you know, from Steam um, in your Match Made. Uh, not when you meet Dave the Brave <laughs> in, a, in a Match Made. That was awful. When I met Dave the Brave, he's on my friends list. If, anyone, if any of you know who Dave the Brave is, you can understand why I'd shit myself, and I did. Um, <laughs> anyway, we'll look at um, my army. So we've got some Kisho Ninja up front. So we've got one, two, three, four of those guys. We've got some Yari Ashigaru spaced out. And then also got some uh, Naginata Warrior Monks, it looks like. Yeah, three of those guys. So Silent Winds, Defense Blossom, and Steel Strength. Um, I think these guys... I think their stats are better now. Uh, but we've got some Naginata Attendants protecting the rear of Captain Cabinet, who is, of course, going to be our leadership general for today. And then I've also got my third hammer and my second hammer pursuit. Very nice. So they've got some nice stats. And we'll look at Tom1604. Surprisingly, actually, Tom1604 is the player which I need to play in the Vendetta's birthday um, bash, final cup, whatever. The, not final, but cup. You know what I'm talking about. But as soon as I played him, then the Vendetta's birthday tournament will continue. So, Tom1604, I need to play you so then we can get that tournament rolling again because we are in the latter stages of the uh, kind of tournament. So, he's got two Yari Ashigaru up front. He's then also got one. Oh, is that Katana Samurai? That's a Katana Samurai. And then he's also got some Lone Sword, Katana, Lone Sword, Katana. So, he's got three Katanas and two Lone Swords. Um, as you saw in the last match, the Lone Swords are incredibly overpowered <laughs> when when they've got such high melee attack. But generally, I do tend to stick to 13 like he has done here. Um, his general is going to be a melee gen, which is very nice. And then he's also got some Fire Cab along with some Bow Cavalry. And we'll be fighting over the farmhouse, but also the workshop. Now, I do like this map. I didn't quite get a glance because I was too preoccupied with talking, wondering what to say next. But this is a nice map. I do like it. It seems fairly, fairly spaced out. I mean, it's got these two hills in the either side of the map, but what I like about them is that the topography. Yeah, just, just gonna, I'm just going to take out that little geography word there. In, in fact, incidentally, I had my geography exam today and it went pretty decently. Thank you very much. But what I like is that it's a nice gentle slope. The gradient, you know, just bust out another term there. The gradient is nice and steady, so it's not like um, the last match where it was just up, down, up, down, up, down, um, like those mountains in the background. These are nice, steady um, slopes, and they're not too bad if your troops to run over. But what we're going to be doing, he's going to be mim mi mimicking, mirroring. He's going to be mimicking. Mim <laughs> oh, God, my, my language skills are just off the chain today. So my his cavalry are going to be mirroring my cavalry on that side, and I'm going to be capping the workshop. I'm not entirely sure why. I think it's because I have got these Naginata warrior monks. So, melee defense, melee attack, anything on these penguins is going to do very well, generally. So, I'm going to rush my guys over to this hill to try and counter him. Now, the, the kind of idea behind this tactic, I've used it a few times before. It does generally work, for the most part, I should say. Um, but what you do is that you send forward your Yari Gashigari um, in loose formation, try and catch as much of their army as possible. You run forward your ninjas, you ninja bomb the crap out of them, and then you just steamroll with... Um, Naginata Warrior Monks. Now, the reason you use Naginata Warrior Monks and not something like Nodachis or, um, I don't know, Katana Samurai, for example, the reason you don't use those is because these guys are not an isolated unit, and if you watch my videos, you'll know an isolated unit is a unit which has got no spear protection um, or Naginata if you want to get a bit technical. So, Naginata units, they are the perfect unit because they're good against swords, good against cav, good against bows, good against, I don't know, lady penguins, so you know, what's their faces, warrior nuns, so they're all round a pretty good unit, the only issue is that they are very weak against bows, <clears throat> more 
more precisely, Bocav is uh, pretty lethal against any sort of Naginata Warrior Monk. So they're good, so I don't really need to worry about protecting my rear, because these guys are going to be protecting my butt at all times. Sorry, I got a bit of a cough today. <coughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm much better now. So he's going to charge forward as the Arya Shigaru first, which is a nice move. However, if I do take out his cavalry, which to be honest, if I just straight out start <laughs> charged him, then um, I probably would actually take out all of his cav, and he would be vulnerable at the rear. So this is probably a bad I idea charging forward his, um, you know, Yaria Shigaru. But at this point, my ninjas have been spotted, and he's going to be commencing and charging forward all of his Yaria Shigaru. So this is really not the best use of my. Oh, what are they? What are they doing? Oh, monks, monkey. <laughs> What's going on? My ninjas are throwing bombs here and not into the enemy. So immediately, this 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 Lone Sword unit hasn't even lost any troops yet. Now it has, but it's breaking. It's broken. Um, his Yaria Shigaru in full flight. I'm still throwing across all my ninja bombs. His the kind of formation is in absolute disarray. He has bangs. He's sprung the traps. So he's got Katana Cavalry and a Yari Cav around the back. So this is pretty dire at this point. I crap myself. I think, oh god, I've got to take out this Cav. Then rush all the way back to try and take out his Cav on the flank. Um, he, is, he is making a good move, flanking me with that Katana Samurai, which is nice. We've got some nice little effects here going on. Whoa, shaky camera. And my ninjas are now charged in. I put them into that stealth mode, to which they're going to get boosted stats. So I think that's melee attack. Def I don't think the defense, no, because that's got the workshop. But the charge bonus, definitely. They're going to be cleaning house there. Oh, just look at the kills in the side there. 76, 77, 78, 80. Boom. And then, of course, we get the rally there by Captain Cabinet, which is further going to boost these guys up. These... Um, Katana Samurai are getting churned. Um, his general's going to have to come and support. The Kisho Ninja got a nice charge off from behind. I've then got the Naginata attendants there. He will be able to protect my general. Um, my general is incidentally facing the wrong way, which is nice. And um, I do charge in my Warrior Monks just for that added effect. I then pop off the Warcry, and the Warcry is going to be making his units route like hotcakes. And I pretty much just cleaned up these Bow Cav over here, these um, Fire Cav, and I will be able to turn my attention back to these Yari Cav. Um, over on this flank, however, my Kisha Ninja are racking up the kills. They're doing pretty well. They've lost four men, which is not too bad, against these Katana Samurai. And these guys are definitely going down very quickly. And then I've got my my General, who's just going to run into these Yarashigari. Not really something you want to be doing if you've got a leadership General, but um, they are now routing nonetheless. His General is there, um, you know, very, very low morale. And pretty much I've wiped out all of his Cav. Um, was bow cav and fire cav on that side. I now just have to deal with his cav, and this is why warrior monks are so good because they may not be the best against cavalry, but you have to admit they are not as bad as katanas. That is something you definitely need to bear in mind. So it looks like I have come away with most of my army here, and Makisha ninjas have definitely done very well. And surprisingly, I didn't use any of my veteran ninjas like um, was it anal train surprise butt sex and um, violators and I don't really use those guys either so I hope you've enjoyed this battle it was a nice interesting battle a nice morale break um, considering you know the amounts of units and the type of units brung so again I hope you enjoyed and we'll go to the results screen and here we are wow my my new emblemy sort of picture on steam looks like it's from like I don't know Sparta or something that's quite nice <laughs> I did not think of that but it looks cool Anyway, so he brought 200 more men than me. I sustained 600 losses. He sustained 1,000, which is always good for me. Not good for him, though. So let's look at who did well, who did not. The Kisho Ninja there, raking in all those kills. As always, raking is a very good word to describe the um, amount of kills a unit has got. So he's got loads there, all over 100, which is nice. Still strength, even getting a good number of kills there, over 100. And even the Yariashi Garu getting 94. Where, where, did, uh, where did that come from? And then the second hammer pursuit, of course, cleaning up all of those cavalry um, on the other flank. So that was nice because um, they were my biggest concern when playing this game. This match was actually quite an old one. But I thought, you know what? This is a quick match. It's a cool match. And it's got ninjas. Who doesn't love ninjas? Um, and and uh, let's look at Tom. I mean, even Captain Cabinet there getting 13 kills. It's not bad. So Tom's Katana Samurai did do pretty decent. His Katana Cav, considering he didn't have these Katana Cavalry for that long and the Yari Cav, they still managed to rake in a good number of kills. You have to give him that. That. But the Yari Ashigaru got absolutely slaughtered, and the Bokav there, I really managed to min minimize the effect of those units. Even the Lone Sword, I think those were the guys who routed instantly, which was lovely. So, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, kind of battle, and if you enjoy what I do, please leave a like and definitely leave a comment. I love people when they leave comments. Oh, it makes people feel good. It's what I live for, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed, and bye for now.